Yo, what's going on everybody out there? This is the game we've all been waiting for, but what's going on? My name is Popular Stranger, and this is week number six, episode number seven of my NCAA football dynasty with the North Western Wildcats. And as you saw from the opening screen here, we are taking on the number one team in the nation, the Ohio State Buckeyes who finished the season last year in real life undefeated and has yet to lose a game in the 2013-2014 season. But we are going to strike first and very quickly as Pierre Youngblood, the slot receiver, who I told you guys, I've been warning you guys about him since the very first episode of the series. He is going to go in and score and give us a 7 to nothing lead. And on a 3rd and 11, we're going to get a nice stop. I'm sorry, a 3rd, a 2nd and 11. We're going to get a nice stop on Braxton Miller, and then they try to run the screenplay, but they are going to come up short from the first down. So we take over with the second possession of the game, already up 7 to nothing. Ohio State, like I mentioned, has not lost in the last two years so far, but they are 5-0 and this season. They haven't really had a tough schedule, but they did beat Wisconsin in their first Big Ten game, 41-13. to And that's who we actually take on next week. Wisconsin so we're starting our Big Ten play Ohio State has already started it and they had a pretty impressive victory against a pretty good Wisconsin team 41 to 13 but right now they're not looking so impressive as you see we're going to cross the goal line yet again and take a 14 to nothing lead but Ohio State will not go quietly I promise you that just watch this drive Braxton Miller was obviously fed up with what was going on in this game because he decided to take control and just keep the ball breaking tackles i tell you what braxton miller on heisman difficulty is just near unstoppable as you see he's just not letting anybody else touch the ball he's pretty much keeping it this whole entire drive and he's going to go ahead and score here on the qb keeper and cut our lead in half to 14 to 7 anyway uh we're coming off our bye week last week but the week before that was a very good game a very close game, even though the score would not indicate that. West Virginia fell to us 42-28, to but we did score two touchdowns in the final couple minutes there. And that was week four, and we improved to 4-0. And if you haven't noticed, if you look at the little ticker down at the bottom, we are also now a ranked team. We did finally crack the top 25 coming into this game, ranked 23rd. So a ranked versus ranked game. As you see, Kane Coulter tosses another or a first interception there. Just looks pretty awful. That was a, uh, I thought the guy was wide open and that linebacker just jumped out and snatched the ball away. But luckily we are going to be able to contain Ohio State here and stop them from getting the first down and forcing them to punt the ball over to us right before halftime. You see 52 seconds of counting before half, seeing if we can march down the field and add on to this seven point lead. Anyway, Ohio State third in the nation with 40 points per game as you see a tough drop pass there and I gotta believe if that drop pass never happened this interception would have never happened very very bad turnover as we throw our second interception of the game and Ohio State is going to tie this game up going into halftime at 14 apiece again Ohio State third in the nation with 40 points a game ninth in the nation with 457 total yards just very impressive to statistically obviously the number one team in the country but they were pretty much ranked in the top 10 in almost every category that is listed i'm not going to go over them all but they're first in the nation in defense only allowing 8.6 points per game that's pretty impressive but you see we've already cracked that mark 197.2 yards per game they only allowed and we're going to score again here as Pierre Youngblood has his second touchdown catch of the game. 21-14, third quarter winding down here with about two and a half minutes left. We're not so bad ourselves with 35 points per game, 13th in the nation. The defense still doing a very good job, only allowing 14 and a half points per game. We're right at that mark just about in this one, so hopefully we can keep it up. And we're still first in the nation, only allowing... 29 yards per game on the ground but that's obviously going to change after Braxton Miller alone destroyed us on that one drive and went all the way down the field just like you can see Ohio State doing now and Braxton's going to keep the ball score his second touchdown of the game and we are all tied up at 21 apiece this game is really really getting good here 
going to be moving into the fourth quarter shortly. Just trying to move down the field. Pierre Youngblood wide open, but it was a bad throw, and he was forced to dive and make that catch. If it was a, a throw that was on target, I'm pretty sure Pierre would have had his third touchdown of the game. Now third and nine here, and we are going to come up short and have to pump the ball over. Time running out here, four and a half minutes left. Ohio State has the ball with a tied game. A ridiculous broke tackle right here allows them to get close to the 50-yard line. And then Braxton Miller is going to kill us again with another QB keeper. And he's going to march all the way down inside the 10-yard line before we can get a shoestring tackle and uh, try to basically hold them and not let them get in the end zone as time is running down. Trying to make sure that I can serve some time to get the ball back if they score. And they are going to kick a field goal and go up 24-21. And we are also going to get a game break here. As you see, the number three team in the country, LSU, gets destroyed by Mississippi State 37-7. So we have one of the top three teams in the country going down. We're down three points with about three minutes left, trying to march down the field and hope that we can make the second out of the top three teams fall and get a big signature win on the season as we're just going to move down the field here and get to the 40-yard line. Kyle Prater with a nice little catch, and then we're going to find Young Blood over the middle. He had a fantastic game, his second awesome game in a row again just moving down the field gonna come up short here made a bad decision on the option read but that's okay because we're gonna find Jones over the middle here for a first down again 15 seconds young blood in the corner here inside the five yard line my thought process here was let's try to uh, go for the win let's not make any mistakes seven seconds and there is the mistake as we throw an interception in the end zone and this game is going to be over just a bad pass the pressure was on me and i made a tough and bad decision i probably should have kicked the field goal but when you got number one on the ropes and you think that you can beat them and upset them you don't want to go to overtime but we're going to fall short braxton miller just absolutely destroyed us as you see he's going to get player of the game with uh, 106 passing yards and two total touchdowns or actually, that was 106 rushing yards, so he beasted out on us. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. It definitely was a thriller. We'll be back next week with a little recruiting, so stay tuned for that. I'm out. Peace.